Hi guys, it's Wombat and today I'm going to show you how to make your own GPS navigation voice. Please use this information both responsibly and create voices for languages currently not available from SES as well as irresponsibly by making your own funny versions in any language you want including Klingon, Alienese, Navi, Elvish and Dothraki. There is already a Arno Schwarzenegger version out there, but I still haven't found neither John Cleese, Christopher Walken, Yoda or Gilb Gottfried, and I do believe that we need them. So for this to work you will obviously need a microphone, a software capable of creating OGG files, OGG is a sound file format, and a program able to extract and create zip files. I will use Windows 10 and any software suggestions I make or use are for Windows 10. If you don't have Windows 10 this still works but you will have to google around to find the appropriate software to do what I'm showing you in this video. So let's jump right into it and the first thing you need to do is go to this video's description where I link to a voice navigation template. The file that you have to download is in zip format and when you extract it you end up with two files. The actual SCS voice navigation file and a text file which is a reference sheet. So download the zip file and extract it and then open the text file. In it you will have file names to the left and to the right you'll see what you have to say and what you have to say is according to what Doug in the UK English version says. What you end up actually saying is entirely up to you but I recommend that you keep relatively close to Doug as replacing turn left with long live and prosper could become rather confusing. There is no, to me, known restrictions on what you say, but for practical reasons there are some limitations as to how long you can wait before you get to the point. The different commands are executed very close to where you have to perform them, so saying to be or not to be, that is the question, and if you don't mind the take the next right, might cause you to miss the next right. So for this reason possibly there are some commands that allows you to elaborate a little and have some fun. The different start and finish underscore and number dot OGG files are executed once you start or reach a destination. So for those feel free to go on for a long period if you like. Some of the other con uh, commands namely speed underscore signal recomputing and speed underscore warning allows you some freedom as well but keep in mind that these commands may be cut short if some other event occurs while you are going through your I have a dream speech. You can produce as many recomputing, speed warning, start, finish and u-turn commands as you like. There might be a limit at 99 of each command. I honestly haven't tested that, but I don't see any actual limitation to it since you can basically create as many of those uh, file types as you like. Finally, these commands are the ones currently in use. There might be other commands as well, but they are not used by any of the voices SCS have produced so far and therefore I do not include any of them in this template or tutorial. So let's get started. Open Microsoft Voice Recorder and place it next to the text file. Record the first command and then exit left. Start talking immediately after pressing the record button and then again as soon as the recording has ended. You want as little silence as possible before and after you have said the command. 
your recording will now probably be named recording. Rename it to and underscore then underscore exit underscore left by copying and pasting the file name without the OGG extension. Then record the next command and then exit right. Rename it and underscore then underscore exit underscore right before moving on to the third command, etc, etc, etc. And the, in the end, you will have somewhere between 60 and, and possibly several hundred recordings. Right click any of the recordings and select Open File Location. In Explorer, you will now see your recordings beautifully named as you want them to, but with the wrong file extension. The files you have recorded are saved as M4A files. This is where my link to the sound file converter comes handy. Download and install the converter and open it. Drag all your M4A files into it. Choose where to save the OGG files and then press the convert button and select the OGG file format. I choose to save mine without using any compression because I want the sound quality to be as good as possible. You can probably use sound compression uh, if you want to, but it is not required and honestly it's not something that I recommend. At this point it's time to open the SCS file. SCS files are just renamed zip files, so we use 7-zip to open it. Double click the sound folder, then double click navigation folder, and finally double click the English underscore Wombat folder. In this folder you will see 71 OGG files. And what you do now is take the 71 OGG files or the number of OGG files you have created and just drag them into 7-zip and this folder. This allows your OGG files to replace the OGG files already in the archive. And you may now close 7-zip and in theory we are done. You can use the voice mod once you drag it into your mod folder. However, the mod will have my icon, my name will be listed as the author and the description is mine. Also, in game and under sound settings, the language will be English and the voice will be Wombat Trucker and where's the fun in that? And besides, if you want to distribute the mod, you will have to change this because I do not allow anyone to create mods and claim me as the creator. So please keep me in the credits list, but other than that, these settings need to be changed. And for that reason, let's open up the mod using 7-zip again. There are three files in the root folder. Description.txt, Manifest.sii and Wombat.jpg. Let's start with the description. Open it and edit the description using Notepad. The information here is what you will see if you click on the information button in the mod manager. The GPG file is the mod icon, also seen in the mod manager. And you might want to create your own GPG file. Keep in mind though that the icon needs to be exactly 276 times 162 pixels in size. If it is any larger or smaller than that, the icon will not be displayed. Finally, the SII file needs to be changed too. You might have to associate SII files with Notepad before you can double click on it in 7-zip. 
The SII file information is also seen in the mod manager and contains information about the creator, mod category, version of the mod, mod name, etc. But it also holds the information about your icon and description files. If you don't want your icon to be named wombat.gpg, besides changing the name of the GPG, this is where you, in addition to that, change the information about the GPG. So by altering these three files, we have altered the information seen in the mod manager, but the information about language and voice in sound settings still says Wombat in English. So to change that, open the folder Sound, Navigation, and here you'll find a file English underscore Wombat dot SII. Double click it. There are three lines here that you might want to modify. The first one being the one that says voice underscore navigation underscore config. Here you simply state the language and the creator probably of this pack. Uh, in my case, the language is, I'm using is English and my name is Wombat, so therefore dot English dot Wombat dot pack. So you want to change that to dot your language dot your name dot pack. The next line we want to change is pack underscore name. And pack underscore name is what you see in the sound settings in game. Uh, this is what you see when you want to select your mod. And in my case, it says English Wombat. You want to change that to um, your language, your name. And finally, all the OGG files that we placed in the English underscore Wombat folder. That folder can be renamed and you do that in the line where it says pack underscore dir. Just change the English underscore Wombat to your language underscore your name. Then close the file and do the same change to the folder that you did on the third line. So in my case it was English underscore Wombat. In your case it was your language underscore your name. So make sure that the folder is named the same thing as the third line in the English underscore Wombat SSI file. At this point, it's time to close the SCS file and then drop it back into your mod folder. And if all went well, you should have your own icon, your own description, your own name and information visible in the mod manager. And in game and under sound settings, you should have your name and your language available. And all that remains now is to test the mod, make sure that it works, and then you can distribute it to the world. And with that said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to actually teach you something this time. And if I did, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you think about this. Uh, let me know what languages you are working on or want to see. Uh, you can of course also use this mod as is. It's my voice, it's just me fooling around in English, but feel free to use it if you like. Uh, and in any case, I hope to see you guys again next time. Take care everyone. Bye bye. What the? Seriously? Slow down. Gentlemen, start your engines. Keep right, keep left, at the roundabout, take the sixth exit, keep left, keep right, at the roundabout, take the first exit, at the roundabout, take the fifth exit, go straight on. Seriously, are we trying to pull away from the cops? At the roundabout, take the third exit. At the roundabout, take the third exit.